Hi guys and welcome back to Stu's Fishing Adventures. Firstly, sorry it's been such a while since my last video, uh, the carp video at Lake Tranquility. Uh, you join me here today, I'm actually doing something a bit different, um, perch fishing at uh, Lynn Derwin, which is in North Wales, it's just out of Rithin. Um, but yeah, I'm after pretty big perch, there's a lot of perch in here, uh, the lake itself is about four acres um, species in here there's carp roach perch uh, some rudd some bream some f1s and some eels but the perch um, go to well my mates had them over two and a half three pound and they go bigger than that um, from what's told it's a spring fed uh, lake so there is like a lot of natural bait going into the lake so probably where the perch have gone so big um, but uh, tactics today, um, on one of my rods, um, bite alarm fishing on a running rig, probably on a uh, size 8 hook on lob worm. I'm float fishing with another rod, a uh, size 14 hook, standard waggler setup, probably a couple of maggots. And then on my third rod, which I'll be going in and out of using, um, on a spinning rod, a small 7 uh, gram spinner. Just seeing if they'll take it. Uh, my mate, he's caught a lot of the perch here. Scott from the previous video, he's caught a lot of them on lobworm or uh, little bits of fish. Um, the perch have nailed it probably because they're used to sh uh, shrimp and prawns that are coming in to the uh, lake quite regularly. But yeah, we'll see how we get on and I'll see you in a bit. And before we can get the camera set up properly, Scott goes and has a double hit, a £1.12 and a £1.10. So we just took pictures of them both. Um, yeah, so here they are, guys. And just had this, £1, what was it, Scott? £1.10. Uh, £1.10 £1. Uh, on a bit of fish. Belted off, only 10 minutes. Scott's already had two, I'll try to get them in the video and them in, but not a bad start, guys. See you in a minute. And here's Scott's third one. Uh, we didn't get to film, so here's a pick, guys. Another one pound ten. Yeah, Scott. Uh, this is your. Is this your fourth now, or fifth? Fourth, yeah. Yeah, no, fourth third. one. Hey. Third, yeah. Hey, you've had four. At least four. Uh, what's this one go? Uh, one eleven. One eleven. Uh, as you can see, the weather's shocking. Absolutely belting it down. So, we'll get this one back in. All right, well done, Scott, mate. And this is what we're having to deal with. There's my rod on the left. Oh, that one there. Scott's backup rod for today. And two of our bite alarms. There's uh, Scott's. There's mine. Keep, uh, Scott keeps getting bleeps off that, but I don't know what's happening. Mine's gone quiet bot from one run. Uh, this one, I've had that perch from earlier that I showed you, but yeah, it's absolutely bucketing it down, so yeah. So I can deal with the weather, but I'll get you a proper view of the lake hopefully when it dries up in a bit. No, that's in there, guys. There you go, guys. As I said, I'll do a pan of the, the Lake Lindowin. It's actually two lakes. There's a match lake with uh, carp, F1s, uh, perch, roach, green, a few chub in that one. It's quite deep, that one. That one's actually 20 foot deep in the middle. Then the main, uh, main lake, or the house lake, as it's known. Uh, mostly bush lined all around. There's one of the major islands, and then there's a the second major island. Um, when I can't fish, I normally go fish over on this side, and I normally have one down there, and then I have three on the other side of this island. But one down there, one down there, like three on this island. It's not been too bad today. We're not doing a very long day session because the weather has been raining and gale force winds all day. So float fishing didn't really happen. Uh, we had to stop after a while because we were, the float was just going all over the place. We couldn't weigh it down more than enough. So the float rods turned into quiver tips with small uh, ledges on uh, using lobworms. And then our bite alarms. Uh, they're already set up a bit further up, but you can probably see where we're based. We're just in that alcove there. You can see the brolly just about 
got two rods just where that is and now on the next peg we've got two bite alarms which are there got that corner of the island and just about here but yeah hopefully we'll be back in here and here's another one rod's just gone off after that last one a bit ago probably about a couple of hours it's been a bit slow with the weather but this one's got one nine smallest of the day scott's still leading so it's four two currently we've both lost a few but like I say, all awesome, nothing below this one, one nine so far, so let's get it back. Uh, just finished me and Scott. Scott finished on four, I finished on two. We both lost three or four. Thing with barbless so it happens, but it's the other side of the lake. As I was saying, this is the side that I normally carp fish. Normally, one on here, one there, and one there. Or if I'm not fishing all three on there, I fish one down this margin. But here's just another pan of the lake. So, yeah, been a pretty good day. Smallest perch was 1.9, uh, biggest was 1.12, so all around roughly the same, but they were the smaller ones, they do go up to £3 plus, so kind of unlucky not to get them, but it's been a good day. Car, absolutely soaking, it hasn't stopped raining all day, it's probably one of the worst days to go, because it's been gale force winds, raining, not great, thankfully we had the uh, umbrella to be under, but still, hasn't saved us at the end, as I said, uh, finished on six between us, Scott had four, I had two, smallest being mine which was one nine, uh, ironically we had two, was it two or three one tens, three, yeah we had three one tens, I had one of them, Scott had two, and then Scott uh, had the biggest at one twelve, um, float fishing, couldn't do it in the end, uh, it's just wind was blowing us all over so at the end of the day they turned into makeshift um, quiver tips, uh, just small ledges on them and then our bite alarm rods were ledges anyway. Um, it was a mix of lobworms, uh, feeding maggots around them and then uh, small bits of fish, uh, everything from sardines, what else did we have Scott? Right brats all kinds of stuff um but yeah perch went for it um nothing else from scott <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no it's a good place uh, i normally carp fish here but scott's used to do a lot of perch fishing here and obviously what i can do if he's all right with that i'll post uh, some of the perch he has had from here before um we were kind of unlucky not to have a two pound plus today as scott was saying uh they go to scott's pretty much convinced to go to three pound plus in here um but yeah i mean we'll probably do it another time but hopefully um it's thursday now um a couple of days well at the end of this weekend uh, this well this sunday is halloween i may be going pike fishing so I'll do a little halloween pike video as well hopefully but like, comment and subscribe and see you later guys.